Thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a main menu today. A lot of you guys wanted it, so here it is. I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly lay in the text um, and create a code that allows you to do this hover over and when you click on it, it loads the proper scene. So let's get started. Alright guys, the first thing we have to do is we have to go to our assets folder, or not our assets folder, but we have to create a new scene. So we're going to go up to file and we're going to create a new scene. And I'm going to say save. Make sure you save your scene. Alright, so here we have our blank canvas. I'm going to go to game object, create other, terrain. It's going to import that really huge piece of terrain. However, I don't really need it that big. I'm just making a main menu. So I'm going to go up to the little uh, cork or gear for the terrain. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to scroll down to uh, control text resolution. I believe that's where it is. And I'm going to change this to 500 by 500. Oh no, here it is. 500. Oh jeez, that's huge. 500 by 500. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, that's that's plenty. I'm going to uh, texture this. I'm gonna make it look pretty, and uh, I'm gonna just make a little scenery, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, guys. Now we're gonna take our main camera, just drag it on over here. All right, so I just finished um, just sculpting out some terrain here and uh, placing some trees, grass, made it look a little pretty. But you can make however or any type of main menu you want. It doesn't have to be like mine. Every main menu is different. But the thing that's not different in a main menu are the buttons. We have to have buttons to play the game. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So what we're going to do is uh, I moved my main camera over so that uh, that's where it starts the game. And I'm going to go to Game Object, Create Other, 3D Text. And you will notice that you have this uh, 3D text. I'm going to name this Play. And I'm just going to move the play and rotate it a little bit. So that it is uh, in my game menu. It's a little bit, you just play around with it. Kind of, I'm kind of hoping it's like right here. So let's try and uh, play with that so that it works. So it fits that way. All right, so here I have my text, um, and this is where I'm gonna have it. However, you may be looking at this and be like, wow, Ryan, that's really blurry, or geez, I can read that perfectly. If this looks perfect to you, you need glasses. For me, it doesn't look good at all. It's fuzzy and really not great. Uh, the way you fix this is you go over to your font size and you can change this uh, to, I, a recommended number is about 100. And uh, that'll make it really big. And then what you have to do is scale it down and uh, play and just see. That looks that looks good for me. I like that. However, I have a, um, in my textures, I've got a crazy killer font that I got off the internet. Uh, just go on the internet and type in um, crazy font. And um, we'll, we'll apply that to... My, uh, my hello, my, why does it say hello world? We gotta change that too. I wanna make this say play. I'm gonna apply my crazy fi uh, killer font to it. Now it's kinda, like scratched out and creepy looking. So we have a, a play. It's creepy looking. All right, so now we gotta do the script to um, make this work. Go to assets, go to your scripts folder, right click, create and JavaScript and go ahead and name this um, main underscore menu 
and load that up. So, just a second. Alright, now that you got your uh, main menu script open, I'm just going to go ahead and write the code and I'll explain it as usual when I'm done. Alright guys, so I've wrote, wrote up the script here and I'm just going to cover it real quick. So when your mouse goes over um, the text, it's going to change the material to red. When it exits the ta text, it's going to ch change to white. Uh, on mouse up, when you click down, if you're clicking and it equals the quit, then it's going to quit the application. If, if it hits anything else, it's going to load level 1. Um, and then if you press escape, it's going to force close the game uh, as just kind of like the default with most main menus. So go ahead and save that and go back into your game. And here I have my main menu script. Oh, we have an error. Uh... Why is that an error? I don't need it. That goes there, that goes there. Oh, I just have an extra one. I didn't see that. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright, now that error should go away. No. Oh, derp. Alright, there we go. Now it's good. Should not give us any more errors. Clear. Alright, sweet. So, go ahead and click on your play. It's going to be hard, so let's just go into the hierarchy. And we actually have to add a component to this. We have to add a box collider. So, box collider. And the box collider is when your mouse enters that area, um, the script will activate. We're going to go ahead and drag our main menu onto that. And uh, I'm going to take this, copy it, and paste it. Command C, Command V. I'm going to move it down, and I'm just going to name this to quit. And I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, like so. So the quit, if you press, make sure if it's quit, uh, quit is on. And I spelled quit wrong. Oh no, the I is just like kind of weird. There we go. Okay. So when we play our game, we now have play and quit. And uh, it might be actually a little bit hard for you guys to see that. That's a little bit small for myself. So I'm just going to move this in, like so. There we go, so now we have play and quit. So uh, that is the main menu, guys. Oh, and of course, when you click play, it loads your level. If you're having trouble and the uh, when you click play, it doesn't load your level, let me show you what it's doing. So the application.load, if you remember from the script, uh, this, application load level one, if you go back into Unity and you go to your build and run settings, remember how we had these uh, levels? Go ahead and add current and save, of course. Main menu. So it's loading level one. Uh, in that, level one, if we go back to our levels, I believe it was tutorial. Yes. So it lo it's loading this level. Um, so just it's referencing these numbers over here. So just my main menu now is two, um, and then there's one, and then there's zero. And uh, yeah, if you're having trouble with that, just fiddle with it. You can always like rearrange these and change them up a little bit. Um, but that's all the time I have for today. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. You guys are leaving great support, and I love it. And I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.
Bye-bye.